troviamo nella chiesa di San Antonio di Padova, sovente a Padua, in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, eh, per eh, iniziare di nuovo le feste natalizie con il concerto natalizie nell'ottava edizione eh, che eh, è presentata per ricordare noi italiani che viviamo nel mondo, noi abruzzesi che viviamo nel mondo, eh, le nostre tradizioni, la nostra religione, le nostre feste e con la collaborazione di vari enti, in modo particolare la regione Abruzzo e il CRAM, siamo lieti di presentare di nuovo il concerto natalizio. Colgo anch'io l'occasione di salutare tutti gli abruzzesi, i paesani ed altri italiani che ascoltano questo concerto e augurare a loro un santo Natale pieno di, di contentezza e pace. Anche se siamo in piena pandemia, come tutti sanno, e l'anno scorso abbiamo dovuto non fare eh, questo bellissimo eh, concerto che è molto ben apprezzato dalla, dagli italiani abruzzesi e non italiani e non abruzzesi. E ovviamente la comunità abruzzese ha fatto questo per un while, ma non solo per la comunità abruzzese, ma per tutta la comunità di Hamilton. Uh, that includes other parts of Italy as well. And we have participation and collaboration with uh, every region almost that's represented here in Hamilton. And I think we've been doing it for about eight years and it's been greatly successful. We had to forego it last year because of COVID and we're glad at least this year that we're able to present something virtually. L'idea del concerto natalizio per la comunità italiana, abruzzese e non è iniziato dalla Federazione Abruzzese del Distretto di Hamilton. E abbiamo iniziato con il nostro coro abruzzese, abbiamo iniziato con i vari enti qui, il coro di Festa Italia, abbiamo aggiunto anche il coro siciliano e abbiamo invitato anche personaggi dall'Italia come il coro di Pescasseroli che questa sera goderete di nuovo e anche la famosissima tradizionale zampogna eh, abruzzese, eh, ricorda benissimo negli anni che eh, è stata pienissima di gente, eh, gli anziani in modo particolare con lacrime agli occhi quando sono arrivati gli zampognari direttamente dall'Abruzzo. È iniziata per quella ragione, per tenerci uniti, ricordarci le radici, a festeggiare Natale e fa sì che la regione Abruzzo eh, con la sua bandiera rimanga alta nel nostro cuore e nella nostra comunità. Il coro abruzzese di Hamilton ha been around for over 30 years and I was uh, privileged to be the uh, director for 31 years and uh, great experiences. We performed in many concerts uh, throughout the city and even into the United States. And the, the Christmas concert really was at, at the heart of uh, Abruzzese culture. Uh, the, the faith element is, is always there, but at Christmas time that comes through so clearly and so powerfully. And the, the fact that we participated in it from the beginning was just uh, really rewarding and, and inspiring. And, and I hope I'm not being using too much hyperbole, but it was inspiring for us to participate in that.
the Sons of Italy Choir is uh, just a stellar group, uh, always has been, uh, and their participation everywhere. And I know that uh, we're talking about the Christmas concert here for the uh, Bruzzesi, but uh, uh, whether you go to community events around town, uh, the Sons of Italy have, have always been there, much to the delight of Hamiltonians. I've been in the choir for uh, the Sons of Italy Choir uh, since 1989, so we just celebrated over 35 years and uh, we're very very proud of the choir's success and uh, to participate in the community events and uh, also uh, anytime uh, anything happened to support the community we we always have been uh, a part of it um, especially when uh, uh, we had uh, the Abruzzo earthquake and we were asked to uh, for the fundraiser to, for the concerts and uh, and also for our Christmas concerts uh, with other choirs. We love to uh, our community you know, to participate with other choirs, uh, or, or Italian choirs like the Ophelia Bruces Choir, uh, the Sicilia Canta Choir. And uh, I think that uh, this community is very, very uh, proud and uh, to be have so many beautiful choirs in the Italian community. presenting the concert a few years back was when the church was filled, St. Anthony's Church, which is one of our Italian churches here in Hamilton, and it was filled, and to everyone's surprise, the Zampognari came walking up the aisle. And for me, it brought back memories of my childhood in Italy when our doors during the Christmas season would be knocked on by some Zampognari, and my mother would have us listen to the uh, songs that they would play and then she would give them some fruit or some food or some money uh, for their trouble. And so that was a very nostalgic moment for many of us. There were many, many tears in people's eyes that evening.
cori, tutti i cori che hanno cantato, non voglio lasciare nessuno al di fuori del mio elenco, ma eh, tutti sono stati bravissimi. So it's really been a all hands on Christmas deck uh, kind of exercise for us and that's pleased the whole community.
questo video, con questi canti, vogliamo augurare un sereno Natale e un prospero anno nuovo. E vogliamo anche ringraziare particolarmente Larry e Angelo Rianni che ci hanno spronato a realizzare il video con le canzoni natalizie. Buone feste a tutti dalla corale Decima Sinfonia di Pescasseroni.
uh, well, Tuscendi dalle Stelle, the actual name is the Pastorale, and I believe it was written by Pius the Ninth. Uh, it really, it centralizes what Christmas should be about. And, uh, you know, Christ coming among us, Tuscendi dalle Stelle, you come down from the stars. Uh, metaphorically, it's referring to Jesus coming down among us at Christmas time. And uh, it's difficult to really not get emotional when uh, you know, we sing that particular song, that hymn, uh, because it, it, is, it is central for us. And uh, I have to tell you that uh, when I was asked, and this was an honor, to direct all the choir groups that were assembled here, uh, even the participants from Italy, the Zambognari in particular, and to direct that to Shandi Dalistele at the end, uh, I had a difficult time holding it together because of the, the emotion was just very, very powerful. So it's, it's important for us. Amen.